In this video, members of the innerrevolution.org's men's group reflect on what their lives would have been like if they had had a program like Super Supportive Sundays when they were growing up. So what is Super Supportive Sundays? Super Supportive Sundays is a project of the Unleashing the Power of Kids campaign created by Beth Green, founder of the innerrevolution.org. Unleashing the Power of Kids mobilizes kids for fitness, cooperation, service, and thought. Kids tend to participate in a lot of competition, in school, in sports, and in life. And they're focused on the me. In Super Supportive Sundays, kids have the experience of playing together in a fun, cooperative way, and they just love it. They also get to have a different experience of service and thoughtful conversations. To learn more about the campaign and Super Supportive Sundays, Stay tuned at the end of the video and we'll give you a website where you can learn all about both Super Supportive Sundays and the Unleashing the Power of Kids campaign. I grew up in a racially tense uh, area, um, Baltimore area, and um, although um, there were people of different races living in the same community, um, people tended to move uh, in their own um, social circles and usually divided along um, racial lines. And, um, you know, I'm Indian and, you know, not being black or white kind of felt, you know, separate from, you know, the community that I lived in. Um, and growing up, I kind of felt that the best way to, um, you know, survive was to kind of blend into the background, not really make waves, um, not really stand out. And, um, you know, in terms of this, uh, this program, um, which really promotes uh, bringing people together for, you know, a common goal, you know, I think if I would have had that kind of program growing up, um, I think first it would have helped serve as, you know, a uniting force in the community. I would have been able to see people from different backgrounds, you know, work together for a common purpose. I think I would have less likely to have, uh, you know, kind of curl up in my own shell and been more likely to uh, be there with the community um, trying to support, um, you know, a common positive purpose. If I'd had this as a youth growing up, I'd have been far less competitive than I became. I wouldn't have been competing so hard in, for grades and for external success such that I wound up going into careers that were based on external success rather than what was true to me. With the result that I wound up wasting a whole lot of years of my life uh, chasing after uh, what society told me was what I should do. Successful things like becoming an attorney, you know, and, and being in a competitive world and doing other careers as well. Uh, and it took me a long time to finally sort out what I really needed to be doing, which wasn't the competitive arena but in to be more of a people helping kind of arena. And it also had a big effect on my relationships because I came to see everybody as a potential competitor, especially other guys, boys growing up, competing in sports, competing in grades, competing for the girl, competing to get into college, uh, all of that. Had I had this program, I would not have been competing so much. I'd have been more cooperative. I'd have, I'd have relaxed and I'd have connected with people more. Uh, that what would have made all the difference. Uh, the marriages that I've had, the relationships that I've had, I have tended to try to be one up in the competition with the other person. And I don't need to do that. I mean, it's much better, and I'm now in a relationship where I don't do that anymore. Uh, but it took a long time. <laughs> had I had this program, I would have been doing it from the time I was a youth. Connecting with people, having real friendships, uh, having greater intimacy, and greater fulfillment in my work because I would have been doing what was true to my authentic nature instead of what external symbols of success were that I was competing to strive for and to be successful in. Uh, today, I feel a little bit inhibited. Um, I believe that I would not feel that type of inhibition had I had this type of grounding uh, program when, when I was growing up. Um, even just a little, you know, just uh, if I would have had 10% of this program growing up, 
my whole life would have been different in, in so many different arenas, socially, psychologically, you know, just all the way across the board. When I was younger, I, you know, I didn't want to hang around the, the kids that wanted to do extracurricular things like Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts or, uh, you know, work on science projects, um, uh, maybe go to the library and study on some new uh, book reports and things. You know, I, I just did the bare minimum and didn't really look ahead. I just, just it tried to get through uh, school at that time, um, thinking delusionally that I, at the time, that I would be, um, become something out of that. And if I was in a program, I would have seen more love in my life. It would have given me more self-esteem. It would have given me more self-confidence. It would have given me the ability to communicate without prejudice or opinions. I could have just been, a, been more uh, free to just express myself in an open form. If I had had this program when I was growing up, I would have had a backbone. I would have stood up for the things that I felt were right and uh, followed my convictions instead of uh, succumbing to fear and just being stopped by that uh, fear of getting hurt or being put down. Um, I, If I had had this program, I also would have felt that intrinsic sense of value in myself where I didn't have to try and extract that from other people you know, by getting them to like me and by uh, constantly trying to fit into whatever situation and not uh, disrupt or upset anybody. I really would have been able to be free. If I had a program like this when I was growing up, well, I could tell you I wouldn't feel like uh, them or us anymore. I wouldn't feel like I was left out or just invisible. The competition made me do things that I'm not very proud of. And there's a lot of things that happened to me that would have never happened to me. Uh, I wouldn't have wanted to speed you know, in a car. I wouldn't have wanted to drive fast. I, you know, I wouldn't have gotten into my accident. you know when I was 21 and, and been paralyzed from, from that day on, you know, uh, and I'm still, you know, I'm still in a lot of pain because of that accident way back then. So yeah, those things wouldn't have happened. I would have had a better relationship with everybody. I wouldn't have had to be a clown in the class. Uh, you know, those friends, you know, I wouldn't have had to see that look in their eyes, you know. It looked like, you know, they didn't belong, uh, they didn't fit in, there was something wrong with them, you know, and there was nothing wrong with them, you know, they, some were smaller, you know, some were larger, you know, some were heavier, some were skinnier, you know, it didn't make any difference, you know, they all, they all could have been belonged, you know, it, they all could have felt like they belonged, they all could have kept their self-esteem.